Oh, it's old. Oh, it's broken. The head's not on it, but it's old. What a fist ball. It's a foosball man table. Table man. <laughs> no way. They don't wear those kind of boots. Yeah. And they don't have nice asses like that. So I'm going to get started on this one and see what we get. down to the poop layer now. It's real soft. Yeah, that's a, it's a nice looking a bottle. Doctor, it's, it's, it's called Dr. Doctor, 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 doctor Hand. Hand. It's a label with the little embossed. This yes. one. Usually a Dr. Hand. And there's so. one from Scranton. Yep. One from Scranton and one from, where's the other one from? Scranton and Philly. That shape bottle. That same one, yeah. It'll be Dr. Hand on the top, and then down on the bottom it'll say like Scranton or Philly. So that has Dr. Hand on it? On the top, like oh, right. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, it'll be right at the top, right where the, just like the bottom. Oh, I see a bottle. You got a scratcher? Yeah. Screwdriver, scratcher, vocal. Here it is. Oh, nice. It's uh, Mrs. Winslow's. Something like this. Do you, have, do you have the thing going? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the soothing This syrup. is good yeah. age. Yeah, I'm liking I this. I know. So let me yeah, tell you. Well, that's, that's about 1880, though. Yeah, I mean. Embossing seal on this one. Can't complain so full. You know, nothing porno yet, but that doesn't matter. If you go to a house and you find out it's 1850, you're gonna find some good shit in the yard. That's just what it is. That's, exactly. that's what I do. I hate the houses, you know. So if you know the house oh. is like old, no one. Oh, I don't go it's there. broken, but look at it. Pumpkin seed? It? A flask. Named? Which yep. one? That's a, Which one? that's a pumpkin seed. Yeah. It's broken on the side. A little pumpkin yeah. seed flask eel has the embossing. I, I found them, it's just picnic on the picnic, picnic glass works. They're amber. Yeah, yeah I go for color. Yeah. Handmade. School match, 11 years old. It gives the description. Uh, that's one of uh, Okay, yeah, yeah. Which one is that? Now, that's Bradway. a weird one. I've never seen that. Handmade. Uh, it said something. I'm gonna hand you the bucket. Cool. All right. Sour mash. Seven years old. No, that's a different. I got it. You good? You good? No. Yeah. I never seen that, Dave. No. It says uh, handmade sour mash. Oh, that would have been cool. Another piece of that. Boca. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Um, you're good. Oh. Hey, it's, it's amber. Okay. S S. Yeah, bad your eyes to heal. Well, find me more pieces of this because I'm interested to know what it was. Yeah, all right. Um, Cause that was big. Oh, yeah. come on, bad you. Come on. Yes, yes, I'm trying to think of who that was. Oh, it's small. It's flash. a flask. Amber one. Yep, amber Name. flask. Yellow. It's like yellow. Uh, something on it, and that'd be really nice. No name, but the drink was. Good, well. Bacon was one of the ones that kept going, you know, during the uh, 
Look at Amble Flash to you. Uh, Prohibition. Prohibition, you know, doing soda and stuff. They can't. Well, I'll well, open that other one up over there. Three, three going at once. Go ahead. You got a shop side? Yeah. I got to take a look at the front of the shop. We're getting down there on hole number one. Badger and I are tag teaming this one. So <laughs> what's up, guys? I can't even look. It's right up into the yeah. sun. Yeah. So. What's happening, guys? I'm going half. To... This place is hollow, man. This thing is huge, and there is stuff under there, man. I can feel the stuff under there. It's a lot of broken glass, but there's other stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. So they will drink cause um, you know, a lot of flask. You know, some even taller flask. You know, a whiskey jug from Harrisburg top right there. But if we just walk down over here, we got Seth over there in the other hole. Um, you know, going away. And then Ricky Wiener opened up the third hole of the day. Hey, what's up? So, you know. Let me do a little, let me do a little, uh, a little plug for uh, okay, so Antique Bottle and Glass Collector by the magazine. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Never know. Hey, you changed. Remember the wood you dig it? Yep. What's he complaining he's about now? He's crying that he's down two, uh, two feet and he's hitting an ABM. Who cares? Go a few more and you might pop on them. Exactly. What are going to do? We got Rick Wiener the cry baby here with us today. <laughs> Complaining about ABN. <laughs> okay. Back here. Well, that way, you know you got that. So, I think that's pretty. I kept going in there and there's more kept coming out. Yeah, that seems like bottom there to me. So, yeah. Never seen a cap like that, so that's not uh, put there by humans. So, all right, guys, here we go. Got him mad. Found something? Here we go. All right. A little mad. Um, oh, I can't even say that. It's a liniment from Gotchalls. Gotchalls from in Harrisburg. Harrisburg. So, good. How'd you yeah. know that one? I know my bottle. <laughs> I didn't even see the bottle. No, I was you, just you... assuming because we're here. What'd you hit? Uh, this one here that I can see. Need another? Yeah. We're only using the one. Tiny little thing here. Came out. Um, See something? Nothing on it. Nothing? Med. Um, yeah, Harrisburg. Yeah. So it's a local pharmacy here in Harrisburg. Um, he's right there. Hey, Dave. Hi. Right. Wheeler and Co. Pharmacy out of Harrisburg. Tiny little thing. I think it says. Yeah. What is it? Bunch of tin. Tin. Ooh, nice. <laughs> All right. This is what we, well, we're pretty sure it's the uh, newer one in the yard. Uh, I got, there's a jar. 
I just pulled the white top out. Um, oh, I got. Yeah, I got one. I got two things here. You have to tie it off here. All right. One second. And then maybe a whole jar. No. Not a whole jar. Not final though? Well, that's the final one. No. But it has the 70, 70, 70 level. 70? Yeah. Shh. Uh, it's hinge, uh, hinge mold. Hinge oh. mold, so that could be 60s, right? Did something fall on it? <sighs> oh, get up! No, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You able to get out? Yeah. That's what I was talking about, as far as the sidewall falling. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't take it all down. Now, think if you would have been down 14 feet or something like that. You can hold this. Now, is it, is it going? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that mongrel. Look at that mongrel. He's all crooked and bent. <laughs> That's those guys are over there. They're doing their hole. We just, the side here just fell out. So you might be able to get something that might have been stuck behind the wall. Yeah. You know? Are you going to be able to get the ladder out? Hope so. Uh, oh, it got bent. Holy heck. Did it get bent? Yeah. Uh, did it really? Yeah. See, there was some weight coming oh, down there, dude. Ah. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you tell me some weight didn't come down there, dude. Yeah, that clay's heavy. Yep. Holy cow. Look at that look at that uh ladder. That took the brunt of the hit, which I'm glad. Yeah. Josh in the hole. He's trying to get some last minute bottles, but we're not finding anything. Here, I'm gonna show you a panorama of what we are at. People over there are going into the restaurant. We're just over here. We are right on the Susquehanna River. Little town right next to Harrisburg. <laughs> and we got tons of bottles over there. I'm going to show you. Well, we just pulled these all out here. All kinds of stuff here, all little dish pieces. A bunch of bottles right here. We, we did have a little crier ink, one of those JEM inks or whatever there's a little uh lantern lantern globe or whatever you got bottles mocha wear giant fruit jar there's a pipe stem in there we did get two two pipes but that would have been a nice jar but <laughs> look at all these bottles it's all over the place in here this one's a nice med from Harrisburg. Yeah, that's, that's all that. That's a nice med from Harrisburg right there. Nice. Um, look, Kemp's balsam right there. Um, you got a soothing syrup. Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup. 
um, Godshaw's liniment. Um, there's a whiskey, two mason jars, giant mason jars or whatever. Um, here's the pipes. You got this pipe right here, which is more like a fancy type of one. A little bit of snipped off at the end there. That's pretty neat. And then you got this plain, plain pipe, but it's completely whole. That was right on the wall when I peeled the peeled the side of the wall off. That just fell right down. That's the whole pipe. Got a flask right here, nice and yellow. Nice yellow whiskey flask. Strap flask. Got that. Um, that was like a cruet, but it does have a little crack right here. Got tons and tons of these little meds. Some of them are embossed, some of them aren't. Here's another. This is another, I think Mrs. Winslow's or. Yeah, Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup. This was the one that had morphine in it that was killing the babies. The baby killer, they called it. Morphine, yeah, know, morphine in the bottle. This right here was a globe. To that, like, uh, where I got that there was one that, like this that was almost completely number. whole. Where the hell? This one has a little bit of stuff off the end there, but a um, couple other meds in here. Yeah, that really is meds stuck in here. There's two dolls. On, this one, that's the butt. It's green, like white with green on it. Green, light, look, green boots. Uh, where's the other one? There was another one here, but uh, I don't see it. But the other one had red boots or whatever. Um, this one's a J Jadway's Elixir proprietor. I don't know where that's from. This one's Weeks. Weeks Snowflake Blue. Hey, PDD. Snowflake Blue. This cup right here Look is whole. That. There's no handle. Oh, Clay fell off. Sidewall fell. Right Hit it. Then uh, up here we got a couple other unembossed meds. This one right here was kind of neat. Looks old too. That one I thought could have been pommeled. But I guess not. It's close though. It's real old. I'm going to lip on that baby. Stuff all kind of flaking off there. But um, a lot of this stuff, when it sits out in the sun like this, you never know. It can, it can bust it. Yeah, I'm going to jump down in there and piss. <laughs> nice big huge flask that's a nice one nothing on it though and if you look at these this is the globe this globe is whole except for one little tiny chip right there but that's for the most part whole you know you got like a citrate i think i thought it was a usa hospital bottle when it first was coming out i was like oh crap and then uh just some other oddball stuff this is japanese gold paint you know, here's the other doll, and it's got like uh, red boots, but both of them were kind of broken. So this one was a United States Medicine Company, New York. This one was a worm syrup, Dr. Lowe's worm syrup from Philadelphia. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. This is a cologne or perfume or something like that, I think. Nice old thing right there, but another flask right here, nothing on it, would have been nice if that would have had something on it, but nice color for those though, they're like a yellowish amber, and uh, this one right here, this is whole, this lid, that's completely whole, so you got some decent stuff, you know, but we have other holes going too, so, you know, God knows what they got in some of the other holes, I'm not really sure. All right, guys. <clears throat> Been raking around a bit, pulling quite a bit of stuff. Um, just popped out a nice hood. I don't 
don't see any damage to it. So. What are you finding? I got quite a bit of stuff, actually. Huh? I got quite a bit. What's on it? Bitters. And got a flask. Warranted. Is that embossed, that one? The flask. Huh? The flask? The one you just picked up. That met, that met, is that embossed? It's just a warranted flask. Ah, uh, warranted, okay. Yeah. Uh, got Alright. Looks like we might have a jar there. Hopefully it's all. See what this one is. Could be number two done today. Filling it in. Not much. Uh, we still got one more in the back corner. And one more probed out that yep. we might. Or might That's the new one today, still. So. This is the older one in this yard. So that's going to get filled in now. Yep. So. We'll take a quick look. But when people let you let you do this, I mean, you got to be very thankful for that because most people, <laughs> yeah. you know, they're not digging in my yard. There was a, a couple in here that like, you got the, the fig syrup, you got the Hoyts, there was a bunch of these, that one obviously is broken, but there's a couple of them that are whole, see like that right there. Yeah, this is That's a nice. Or something. Mm -hmm. Yep, that one is the. Hires root beer. Yep, hires root beer. That was the extract. So they're pretty common, I guess. That was a Hoyt's, but it's just says ten cents in the center. This one's a different one, so there's two different, you know, there's different variations. That's nothing. I've never seen that. Yep, that's fine. These ones right here are both unembossed, which they're of age to have embossing on them, but they don't have it on it. That right there is a screw top that came from the bottom. I mean, it's an older screw top, but that came from the bottom. There's another Hoyts. That's the 10 cents. They're German colognes. That's what they were. That's what they were. So a lot of these privies were built by Germans, especially the stone, the ones that are lined with stone. Some of them are just wood, and the wood uh, just... It kind of rots, yeah, it rots away and stuff. That's a lead, piece of lead right there. Nice and heavy. How's it going? All right, how are you? You want the wrench? You're going to come <laughs> and find a bunch of holes in your yard, didn't you? <laughs> what do we get? Perfume. Anything? Uh, there's a hubcap from a Ford. Saw that. Oh my gosh, a whole bunch of those. That's uh, early. Points out of there. Huh. Yeah. You got a wrench. That's why it's in there. Ford, fix and repair early. <laughs> hey. Oh, you threw my chicken bone hey. in. Oh, you wanted that? Yes. You want me to go get it? Why? You want there's, that? There's a whole story behind that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> some, some of them are real crumbly, though. That was like probably. No, that one was a good one. Oh, uh, really? There's a whole story behind it. Here, I'll get it. Or I'll something. get it. Sure. Right, I better get this video. Here. Maybe right. get out. Start filling it in. What is it? 
There's there's a story behind why oh. I love this. <laughs> there's a guy up the street that I used to go to church with. He's got a yard that's, I mean, there's nothing, you know what I mean? It's just like the kids, he has kids and you know what I mean? It's just, it's not like a real nice flat manicured yard. Right. And uh, I talked to him last year and he's like, yeah, yeah, it'd probably be all right. Let me know. So I uh, sent him another message. He's like, yeah, no, I don't think I'm interested. <laughs> really? But he said, when I said about digging down here, he said, well, I hope you find some old chicken bones or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a story that, that I think, I think I'm going to mail it to And you. on that note, look, $20. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> Two chicken bones. <laughs> I think that's bigger than a chicken bone now, though. Mm. Little, as long as it's not human. <laughs> that we don't want to find. We used to find like whole horses and crickets. Yep. Chopped up. Horses, boars, you yeah. find the big. Well, they, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. the river from the other side of Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. One of the old Indian forts. A tree blew down in the storm. And it pulled up a femur, a shackle, and a big old iron spot. Mm. Oh, Really? <laughs> That's probably an Indian, you know. All right, guys. Movie number three of the day done. Um, what do you say? About a good seven feet. Um, yeah. Really new stuff, but you know, none of the milks came out whole. Sadly, a bunch of rocks fell in. One of the sides gave in. Sadly. This um, was a Hoods. Hoods that is clear, which is strange. I have never really come across clear hoods. And a I'm... cool bean pot. And that's about it for this one, I do say. Yeah. So we're going to tally up and split it up and get out for you. So. Hey guys, Dave here, Cloverdale Diggers. Seth and Josh's dad. And uh, we just finished up in here. Uh, I'm gonna take a little video over here. Um, this is a friend of mine. He's uh, he's bought a lot of wood from us over the years uh, in the salvage wood business, and uh, actually uh, he had my father as a teacher in school, and uh, so did the neighbor from next door. Um, they were both in the same class, and uh, so my friend's got a couple bars, restaurants here in Wormleysburg, and I'm gonna turn you around and show you the one. Uh, this one here is Duke's. It's uh, he's got a couple different ones here, and uh, this is Duke's in Wormleysburg. He's also got a bar called uh, Rock Bass and another one called Dockside Willies. They're all in the same stretch right here, and uh, we're just right on the other side of the river from Harrisburg. And uh, it's got real good food here. He's got a nice deck out back. As soon as it warms up a little bit, you can sit out there and. And uh, you can see the Susquehanna River out there. And um, so it, uh, he gave us permission to dig here. Um, he knocked a couple buildings down. One of them was a log house, uh, probably about 1820s or so, 1830s. And uh, so we cleaned up some of the, uh, the debris and stuff from that house. And he gave us permission to dig. Um, also the neighbor next door, um, that also had my dad for a teacher. He, uh, he gave us permission to dig his yard, and uh, we dug the two of them that were over there. And uh, it's possible there's one more there, although he's not sure if, uh, if the house is quite old enough. They're thinking the house might be about uh, 1910 or so. But uh, there you can see how we filled in, and um, there was a dip there both places. That's kind of how we knew where it was. And um, so you can kind of see it. Uh, did a pretty decent job. Um, got a lot of debris cleaned up here out of the parking lot. And uh, that's over there loaded up on the truck. And here's this pit that we dug down through the parking lot. And uh, we got that filled in and um, run over and compacted a little bit. So I'm going to give you back. Hey guys, Cloverdale Diggers here. Um, this is our wrap up of yesterday over there at uh, Wormleysburg. Um, we cleaned a few things up. This is nowhere near close to all of it. Um, but we got a special color of the bacons. 
um, out in Harrisburg. Um, we also got a nice bean pot uh, that came out of the newest hole there in the yard. Oh, we got a jar. We got three variants of the Hoyd's um, cologne. Um, three sizes there. We got a flask. Um, a few others. Uh, we got two marbles. We also got a glass eye. Um, we got a coin. I think it's a nickel. We got to clean that up and see. Um, a ring. Got a few doll parts. And three pipes then. One whole pipe and the two are broken. Um, so. That was our Saturday dig. Uh, three privies in one day with the Badger and Rick Wiener. Um, I'd like to thank them for coming out. And be sure to like the video, subscribe, and we'll post some more videos of the digs to come. So that's all for today.